what we see is our ability to stretch out into a global community whereby uh, the services that we provide now become a global market rather than a regional market. So the industries that we have built out and the ones that we are anticipating that's going to drive our new economy are really revenues from new sources. Industries in education, in medical education, in high tech and environmental that will attract customers from off island who bring new money onto this island. So O3B has been a huge uh, a driver of an economy that we know will be the mainstay of our economy in years and years to come. It did open a lot of doors for us. There are certain applications and protocols we can utilize due to the limited bandwidth that we've had. With the additional bandwidth that we have received is allowing us to explore new avenues to, for us to provide our service to the people of America South. As a result of having O3B, we'll be able to uh, partner more with uh, IOC's new initiative with the um, television network. Um, that'll be available to all National Olympic committees and it will be 24-hour streaming of sports, both uh, live and historical. So that um, opens up a lot of new avenues for us uh, financially and, and other ways. ASICA was, was fortunate enough to, to receive some federal funding to construct uh, you know, our broadband linking American Samoa territory, or the BLAST network, which carries our services from our central offices directly into the home. And American Samoa is the first in the world to have uh, not only the connection to the home uh, completed from the central office, but throughout the entire country. All these islands are benefiting from the BLAST program, and O3B supplies the internet service that goes through the uh, BLAST uh, fiber to the home and delivers that service to every home in American Salon. We've seen an increase of about 50% in our data usage from our business customers. Uh, but in the, um, the, uh, the residential customers, the usage has been off about 100%. You basically cannot interact with the world. You can't live a proper life without getting online. It's just a necessity. And now we are connected in a faster method with the rest of the world where we communi can communicate, stay on the same competitive level with business, enjoy TV at home, just do a lot of the things that you should be able to do with O3B now. Uh, you're one of the things that, uh, in regards to attracting government customers, besides the uh, local businesses, is that uh, they'll be able to do telemedicine through the hospital. And also we're planning to work with the Department of Education. And we also have some online uh, universities that are here, which will be able to do their uh, online educational services. Uh, that's, that's something to look forward to. Our brightest students, our brightest scholars, our brightest entrepreneurs can return here to American Samoa and generate incomes that are equal to or greater than they would earn in the United States. And this is a huge advantage because it ends the brain drain, which is so common in developing countries where people are attracted to economic centers like Singapore or Bangkok or Hong Kong. This gives us the opportunity to really flatten the globe and bring these resources back to American Samoa and keep our best and brightest students here. It's so exciting.